Hey, what's going on everybody? Haskins here with another awesome build tutorial for you today. I'll be bringing you my new favorite vehicle for survival mode. Now this thing can fly, it lifts off the ground on its own, it can turn, it has storage, and it looks absolutely awesome. Also, special shout out to Kaboom. I did use his frame from his awesome dozer vehicle that he just put out. I'm gonna link his channel down in the description. All right, so for the first step of this build, we're gonna make our way over to the toys section under car parts, and we're gonna grab a small car jack. We're just gonna drop that down anywhere. Then the next thing we're gonna do is grab the vehicle base single rider. And we're just gonna snap this right onto the top. It doesn't matter as long as it's somewhat center. You can start by putting those little the yellow piece in the middle there centered up now once we have that up there i'm going to be referring to the front and the back and so what i mean by the front is the part that has that little like border on it on the left hand side and where the back is where that octagon piece is that's wide open so we're going to grab a vehicle base three which is also in these structures under car parts and we're going to put three of these on the front now the challenging thing with this is these do not like to snap in on the front so you're going to want to try your best to just nudge that down until you're centered on this and that the bottom of the block lines up with the bottom of this piece. So in this example right now, you can see this is not how we want it. So if that keeps happening to you, no worries, just knock that thing off and start all over again. Just like this, and then we're gonna nudge it forward until it's green. And the other thing you wanna make sure is that it's just good and center right here on the front of this. And now we're just gonna snap three of those together like that. And then for the rear of this thing, we're actually gonna put six of them now, for whatever reason, this one is much easier to get lined up. I have no idea why, but we're gonna do one. That would be two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so at this point, you have three of them on the front and you have six on the back. Now we're gonna start placing some of the stuff up top before we put on our wheels. All right, so just place down some stairs. We're gonna hop up on top of this bad boy. Now, the first thing we're gonna do when we're up here, we're just gonna grab this small driver's seat. And we're gonna place it right there to where it actually is touching the front edge of this. We don't want any gaps. You want it to fit in there nicely, just like I'm showing you right now. And then we're gonna jump up here and grab the large power center. Now, the rule for this thing is pretty much line it up with the back of the seat and just nudge it back to spaces like that. We're gonna drop that down. Now, this is gonna be a nice little spot where we can place down some red balloons to get some of that additional functionality that this vehicle brings. So for the chest, it's all gonna be dependent on which materials you have access to. But in this case, we're doing the grand chest, which is gonna be eight frost pine and four iron bars. And the way we're gonna put the chest on here is we're just gonna make sure that it's right up against our seat base there, just like that. Next, we're gonna go into building parts under roofs where we're gonna find this Kawaro roof too. Now you're going to need to have a Frostlands Village leveled up. I don't know the exact level, but you can find that in the menu, but that is what's gonna be required to unlock this piece. And we're just simply gonna make sure that when we place it down, it's actually touching the power center. Now, everything that needs to be done up top is pretty much good for now. So we're gonna knock down our stairs and we're gonna find access to the underneath side of this thing. We're gonna go over to our toy parts and we're gonna be using a bunch of small thrusters. Now, the placement for the two in the front are gonna be directly into the corners on this front piece and we're gonna place down two of them just like that. And then for the rear, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time what we're gonna do is we're actually going to place these in one space just like that. And then we're gonna put one more on the other edge like that, good and lined up. Now, before we move forward, just make sure that these things are lined up with one another and they have the exact spacing like I'm showing you right now. All right, so the last thruster we're gonna put on is gonna be a large one, and we're gonna put it on the second step up. And what I mean by that is, if you can see where this thing is sitting on now, we're gonna to wanna to get this on the back of that. So all you need to do is come around here, and it should easily turn green like that for you, and then we're just gonna place it down. Again, you can see here from the side where that is. I'm gonna leave it just like this for a moment so you can take a look and make sure you have yours in the right spot. And then the only other important thing to do is make sure that it's centered on the back. Now I know the lighting right now, it's hard to see, but you know what I mean, just make sure it's centered. All right, party people, the sun has set, so we had to slap a ton of these lanterns into the sand out here on our beautiful island so we can see what the heck we're doing. All right, the next part for this build is gonna be large powered wheels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the large powered ones on the back, and we're simply gonna do this by trying to line up the wheel on this like it's hard to get the angle here but we're gonna have it on the outer side of this block and we're gonna nudge it to the left six spaces so we're gonna go one no that's not 
We're gonna nudge it over six spaces. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now lining up the next one should be pretty easy because you have the other one in position. So you can just kind of look at it and determine where you need to place it. Now feel free if you need to, to do the same thing with the nudging over six spaces. However, again, I think it should be fairly easy to line up. So now that we have those on, the important thing to make sure here is we're actually now gonna be moving over to large turnable wheels where we're gonna place these towards the front here and we're gonna nudge it back one, two spaces, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing here, one, two. Boom. So now we've got all of our wheels on. The important thing to do is making sure that the directions work. Now, generally speaking, the left side of the vehicles are going to be working just fine. But when you come to the right, you can see these are in a reverse order. So we're going to just change the directions to be forward facing just like that. Now, once you've got those wheels on, all you need to do is remove this thing and we are almost ready to take off. Now all right, now that the vehicle's on the ground, we're gonna start adding some turning thrusters where we're gonna just use the small ones. If you use large ones, this thing will be all over the place. And the idea here is we wanna place these things close to the wheels, just like that. Now, you'll notice if you go too far, it'll turn red. Just nudge it back one, just like that. And we're gonna do one more on the opposite side. Get it as close to the wheel as possible and just nudge back one and you should be good to go. Now, what we need to do for the turning thrusters is get these things off channel three. Those are gonna be the underneath and the forward moving thrusters. So we're gonna get rid of channel three. We can tune this one to channel one and then we can hop onto the other side. And we're gonna tune this one to channel two and make sure channel three is turned off. Next, we're gonna grab this ancient thin floor two from our floor pieces and we're just gonna line it up with the bottom of this front block. And then we're gonna just stack three of these on top of each other. And then from here, what you're gonna do is we're gonna grab the heavy duty anvil. Now this can be found in your decorations part under the small section. And then we're just gonna grab this and slap that bad boy right up on top in the front there. And now what this is going to do is it's going to create a very sturdy front end. So when you crash into things, it's not gonna break the entire vehicle. So before we see this thing in action, I just wanna cover something very important. Now there's two different ways you can leverage balloons. The first way is where you're gonna evenly distribute two small balloons up against the back of your power center. This is gonna be best use case for lifting up higher in the air and long distance travel where you don't really care about touching the wheels on the ground too much. And then the last one is simply using a single balloon placement. And the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna grab a small balloon again and we're instead of having it on the outer edge, we're just gonna nudge it in one from the left side. Now there is no center point on this, which is unfortunate, but this setup is just simply to help you jump over obstacles. Now, the last thing I wanna cover is operating the vehicle. So when you first take off, I don't really recommend hitting the turning thrusters while you're moving. And that's just simply, it gets a little wild. So what I recommend doing is actually letting off the actual forward moving thrusters before you engage your turning. This is gonna definitely stabilize the vehicle and assist in turning much better in a more controlled state. I hope you all enjoyed this build, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe with notifications on so you never miss another video from me. This is Haskin signing off. Thanks again for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one.